Yeah, guys, King Jad here. And uh, yeah, no bingo intro today properly. <laughs> Actually, hold on, give, give me a second here. I don't know if you guys can hear the game. The game has like music, but you guys can hear it because I forgot to set everything up. So, <laughs> damn it. I knew I was getting some. Uh, should I? <laughs> Fuck me on. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it doesn't really necessarily matter. <laughs> I'm the only one that can hear the fucking music in the background of this fucking game. <laughs> it's a fucking strange game. This this game has like a very repetitive, obnoxious fucking constant loop of music. And it's like, I just realised the stream's not set up so you guys can like, hear it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is what it is, nothing I can do. Um, I think usually I have a set up so it's like... Give me a second here. Ta-da! Should that work okay? I think that should work okay. If I could do that... The game, it should recognise that I've got the game, I think. Well, the game, sorry, fucking busted ass start to the stream. Uh, fucking professional, professionalism at fucking work here. Also, this didn't update. This did not update properly, this fucking thing here as well. I changed it and it fucking didn't save. Ah, uh, fuck me, man. Disaster stream. Utter disaster stream. Uh, um, so it's, it should be, fuck me, man. It should be that. And then... I think I had a typo as well in this fucking shit. There you go, so that's that, and I think I can even fix something else as well. Why is this not showing? Hmm. I'm very confused why the game won't... Oh, there it is, yeah. I was wondering why the fucking thing it took forever to fucking load. Uh, I think... Well, that should be okay even down here, shouldn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, guys, welcome to fucking Jesus, man. That was a, that was a fucking hassle and a half. Welcome to, uh, I thought, I mean, it's been a long time since I've done that. It's been a long fucking time since I've done a quick blush. I made a brand new quiz, and I got a lot of help from a various amount of detractors to submit questions for an updated DSP gaming quick blush quiz for 2024. And, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought it was high time we'd done this quiz, and I thought I'd do it for you guys. And uh, what better time than right now to enjoy it? Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Um... I'm so hold on. Can I can I add an audio source? Give, give me a second here so I can try and do something on the fly here just for this uh I audio audio hold on uh, hold on uh, what, what am I wanting? Uh, I think I want that. Give me a second. Guys. Anyway, if you want to join the game, by the way, if you want to play along with the game, you go to jackbox.tv and you enter that code on. It's as simple as that. The instructions are on the screen. Go to Jackbox TV on your mobile device or your computer or whatever and you can join the room code using that code. This room code currently is AHFB so if you want to play the new DSP gaming code of 2024 then join in along with fun and Ash is already joined so well done. Big ups to Ash for joining. So yeah when we get a full room and uh, we, get, we get all eight people on, on the room we will uh, get on with the show. And uh, we've got Ash, we've got Gru, we've got Penitent Sin, fantastic stuff indeed. Uh, let, let me try, like, what am I, hold, hold, let me try and fix this. I say fix this, but I'm trying to, uh, I think I want to do that, and then I want to do, so if I do this, this may get very loud all of a sudden, but this may get very loud all of a sudden, if it does, I do apologise. Um, I don't think it did, I think we're okay. Um, I well, maybe I need to just, off, you know, <laughs> Maybe I need to fix the thing properly, hold on. Uh, hold on, give us a second here. If I, so, let me go to properties. And... There we go. Now you guys can hear the game music. But I will turn it down for you guys so it's not obnoxiously over the top and <laughs> whatever. But you guys can hear the game music now. Uh, is that low enough volume? <laughs> I, I just had a feeling there was a big blast of volume all of a sudden just fucking coming out of nowhere with that shit. <laughs> it's just... Oh god, I do apologise. I do apologise for that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a good level then. Okay, cool stuff. We need one more. We need one more player to join the game. Now we can get on with the game and uh, you guys can get to see the very first edition of the DSP Gaming Quiz of 2024. And there we go. We have Ash, Gru, Petit, Sudden Hitch, The Real Ash. Oh my god, it's two ashes. Fat Cat, PP Burnell, and of course me, your host, because why the fuck not? I'm going to be in this first game, but the second game, you guys can, I'll just be commentating. But uh, yeah, there we go. So now we've got a full house and everyone's in the game. 
I just need to press start game on my browser to begin the game. Everybody's in. It time go. Follow the instructions on your screen, guys. If you're in the game, follow the instructions. It's as simple as that. Smitty here with your daily dose of quiplash. Use as directed. I've already come up with a mnemonic to remember all your names, and it is filthy. Let's get started. Remember that your entourage and hangers-on can play along by joining the audience. Audience votes count. That's a very good point. The audience votes count. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! There you go. So, everyone that's in involved in a game will have a random question to answer. In fact, they'll have two of them. Audience members, while players are typing so, answer, you just come up with the best answer you can think of. So don't mind me, I'm just coming up with good answers here, or, or answers as best as I possibly can do. So uh, yeah, so I've answered my two questions. There's 30 seconds left, guys, to complete your answers for both questions. And uh, yeah, there we go. Can you turn the volume up just a touch? Yeah, sure, that's no problem. Um, how's that? I'll turn the volume up a little bit more. Hopefully, I'll be okay now. Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button. So, guys, there's 10 seconds left. If you've not answered your questions yet, answer as fast as you can. Final 10 seconds. Ash, it's down to you. No pressure, Ash. But at time go. Well, it's all your fault. Well, I don't, I don't think I, the uh, Ash player answered in time. So, the Tonya Wiggins submission. Okay, Derek becomes a musician. What is his hit single called? Is it Little Girls Cover or Joe's Trader Tacos and Me? Pick your favourite answer from that. And of course, the audience members can also vote for their favourite answer and that can also sway the vote sometimes. The players vote for their favourite answer and the audience does as well and that can win players rounds. So, uh, yeah, what's my favourite answer from those two? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I voted though. Oh, I went for that girl's cover. So did most other people and the audience also went for the real ashes. The real ash beat the, the fake ash. Well, not the fake ash, the other ash. I don't know who's the real ash. There's two ashes and one beat the other. So this is the submission here, as you can see, by Dello Yellow. What is written on the sign on DSP's front door? No Jews allowed or no tips. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, man. Let's, let's go a bit dark, <laughs> a bit fast. But there you go. As I said, you should, the whole point of the game, the whole concept of the game is to try and pick your favourite answer or try and come up with your most creative answer for the audience to vote in favour of. So, uh, not surprisingly, overwhelmingly, the players involved all voted for the no Jews allowed one. The audience was split one to one, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty emphatic uh, r win there for Fat Cat. So this is a submission by Mister. DSP and LTG are trash talking. What are these two toxic lockers beefing about now? Who has their sexy on or penis length measured by best by the seats? So <laughs> pick your favourite answer from those two. Oh, for God's sake. This is, uh... This is descended into a bit of chaos. Some of these questions were a bit chaotic. Keep in mind, as I'm saying, some of these questions I came up with myself, but a lot of these questions were submitted by other people I asked. And this is a Mr. Submission. And uh, PP Burnell has won that particular round overwhelmingly, emphatically. 100%! The players and audience all in favour of PP Burnell's answer. Now that is a super quick flash if I ever saw one. Well done, PP Burnell. So, here we go. 
that this is a dash of submission here who will dhp cosplay as next for halloween will he go as low tier god flexing the brand new shirts or will he cosplay as the gout king pick your favorite answer from that if you can the gout king or low tier god flexing the new shirts Bear in mind it was the uh, low tier god that made him get all those shirts out there in pajamas stuff and all that oh the, the players are split and so is the audience it's a tie between me and Gru for the answers oh well well played Gru well played we'll share the spoils Next prompt. so this is a submission by Aviga Dave is annoyed as his useless son is clawing him what does Dave send DSP as a picture of this time is it that cat in the car picture or a frowny faced selfie so yeah remember um phil's dad before sent phil a picture of a fish they caught <laughs> randomly and phil told us all about it so unless he sent him a picture of this time i know what i went for it's the fat cat in the car picture and uh, the real ash is cleaning the house here the audience was split four to two but uh yeah that is a bit overwhelming uh it's almost a complete quick blast here next on deck oh it's a question submitted by pixar animations but ash didn't answer it in time so pp parnell automatically gets the full points i think they've won 100 of the points possible Moving on. by sheer luck oh god it's so all insider had his question what is the most common substance on dsp's office floor is it coom or ants stuck in place by pools of dried semen that's a very very descriptive answer so pick your favorite answer from those two there basically they're essentially the same answer in the grand scheme of things it's just one's a lot more detailed and traumatic and uh yeah spoiler alert one of those answers was mine that cat against me and uh yeah my my very detailed description kind of helped me win that particular round sorry fat cat but my imagination my, my imagination is quite perverse as uh yeah you, you, you're soon to find out there's another pixar question here dsp turns into a pokemon what is dsp's pokemon name is it pigster or snort king snort king i choose you pigster i choose you so yeah, can't be a can't be a DSP Pokemon name. As that is what he's turned into. Ah, oh, goodness me. They're both good answers, it's a tough one to pick. Hitch versus Gru. It's a tie between the players, but the audience has helped win it for Gru. 75 overall. Well done, Gru. Close round. And that's the end of round one. Round one's over. Let's check the scoreboard. I'm pretty sure PP Parnell was winning by a landslide. Yeah, would you look at that? Now, Ash, don't take too long to answer the questions this time. Round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. Oh, the drama. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the points are doubled for the second round. So if you're playing the game, answer your questions on your phone or your browser or whatever. The, the audience can play along with the questions they see on the screen. The two fairies of our job. Some of the questions, by the way, that the people submitted to me were just... I'm sure they're quite predictable, I feel. You'll see what I mean soon. So yeah, some of the questions are, well, see, some of the questions will um, invite some very creative answers but some of the questions are kind of you know, a challenge to make them as entertaining as possible. Uh, but uh, that's, just, that's just the beauty of the game, that's the beauty of the game. We're down to our last 10 seconds. 
But down to the last 10 seconds, guys. Come on, get your answers done quickly if you can. Ah, uh, we're going to have another situation where people are not going to answer questions in time. Ash. Again. Ash. Cool, let's see what's what. Number one on the list. Oh, whoever's playing Ash gets a three round, at least for one question. So, here's one of my questions. DSP passes on and ends up in hell. How does Satan decide to punish him for eternity? Does he punish him by the cans explaining the netcode function or by saying eternal by by Satan giving him an eternal IRS audit? What would be more hellish for DSP? An eternal IRS audit or a cannons explaining netcode functionality? Now those are some very creative answers. Those are some really clever creative answers. There's a split between the players, but the audience helps real Ash win it 76 overall. Very close round, very close round. That's a tough one to pick a favourite for. They're both very good answers. Okay, next one. Oh, we got a TJ Gamebox submission. What was what was the last DoorDash order? Was it KFC, McDonald's, Wendy's, Pizza Hut, Total Wine? Or was it Italian style sauce? So pick your favourite answer from those two. So questions like this really do you know, force your hand to try and be as creative as you can be, for sure. And I do like the guy just that it just went. Fat cat just named them all. <laughs> and I kind of want it for me. Like, what was the last order? Everything. <laughs> Twenty-three in favour overall with the crowd votes as well. Congratulations, Fat Cat, for winning that particular round. That was the one question Ash was able to answer. Oh, this is one. Of, this is another one of my questions. DSP is forced into the big scary world of employment. What job is he able to secu secure? Is it a Walmart greeter or is he a DoorDash driver? Vote for your favourite answer. Again, difficult to pick. Very difficult to pick your favourite answer from that. They're both good answers. He's so toxic that him greeting anyone would not go well. But he's so greedy that he'd probably eat all the DoorDash orders, so yeah, I'm not surprised that was split. I am not surprised whatsoever that was a split answer. So share the spoils. Oh, a brand dude question. Yeah. Brand dudes had the most basic question out there. Where did the load go? Yeah. So yeah, where did the load go? And then this is what this is what really tests will test people's creativity. How do, you, how do you answer such a question? Everywhere, he's depressed and always jerking, or on the blouse? Oh yeah, this is a this is one of Brando's questions. So between me and PP Purnell, the tie between the players, but the audience are on my side. Get wrecked, PP Purnell, your turn is over. I stopped your 100% streak. Yeah, so I, I won up that your own thanks to the audience vote. And uh, this question now is an Avika submission. Oh no! Jasper needs money for blood work, but DSP would rather buy blank instead. Is it sweaty JPEGs or the whole company of Scopoli? Scopoli, Scopoli, whatever. So, what is your favourite answer from those two questions? Sweaty JPEGs or the whole company of Scopoli? Oh, goodness me. I mean, they're kind of roughly the same thing. I went for the whole company. Because I just kind of thought if he could, he would. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry, real Ash, you didn't get a massive quick blast because I went the other way. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> I thought it was going to be closer. DSP is chewing his nails. Oh, never mind. Uh, Ash didn't answer that one in time, so Hitch gets a full point for that. Well done, Hitch. You lucked out. Next on the list. Oh, a stood submission. Who are the sons of SmackDown? The legendary PP Bunnell clan in WWE Champions or his cohorts in WWE Champions dudes? So yeah, vote for your favourite answer from those two. Who are the sons of SmackDown? The legendary PP Bunnell clan in WWE. Uh, uh, is this PP Bunnell with the answer? I wonder. Did he like, did he, did he, like reference himself in his own answer? Because our answer's mine. No, it wasn't his pension, son. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's a tie between the players. But the audience helps make me win barely 87. 
So it was still a very close. I mean, I, I win that round, but I only get an extra, like, you know, it's not a massive win. We both get a good amount of points. So here's a Mr. Submission. DSP loses yet again in Street Fighter 6. What does he call his opponent as his rage builds? Does he call him a mouth drill and moran button mash and scrub? Or does he call him a scat riddled ass hat? Pick your favourite answer from those two now. Uh, so I mean questions like this are fantastic because they will absolutely encourage the most creative possible answers. I went with Gru's answer personally. Well, I thought Gru's answer was more creative because Phil does call people mouth and morons and button mashers all the time. Scat riddled ass hat to me was creative. But well, I went for it. But it is what it is. Nothing I can do. That's all she wrote for people vote how they vote. Let's check the scores. <laughs> So who's winning now? Is PP Burnell still in the lead or has he lost his lead somewhat? Oh, he's only four. So Real Ash is 400 points behind PP Burnell as we're going to the final round. The last lash. The last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. This bit I have no real control over. This is basically the game decides the final prompt. Complete this comic. Is there a cheaper way to do this colonoscopy? You got to come up with a doctor's answer. A cheaper way to do this colonoscopy. So yeah, come up with your uh, favourite answer essentially. You know, all the players in the game have got to come up with their best answer possible. Oh yeah, that's a tough one. Is there a cheaper way to do this colonoscopy? Right, come on, this, uh, we're running out of time here. Get your answers in if you can. Uh, you run out of time. Ash, you're so bad at getting answers answered. In the final round, you can give out one gold, one silver, and one bronze medal to your top three quips. Make them count. Oh my god, so many spin references. So, uh, so the, all the answers so far from here. Is there a cheaper way to do this colonoscopy? Well, do you have a spoon? Take the spoon and shut up your ass. Maybe it involves getting a job, Phil. Sure, just give me 20 minutes with your wife. Ask King Be Cruel to get the spoon and dike. I'll call Tyrone in to assist you and a spoon. <laughs> so, there we go. Oh, I so, so the players involved, by the way, can pick their three favourite answers still. The players involved help determine who wins because they get to pick their three favourite answers as well, so it's not over yet. Um. You just pick your three favorite answers to, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, just uh, a player nominate your favorite answers from the that list, and uh, yeah, have fun with that. And that is the end of that. Who has won? Who's got the most points there? All right, let's see where those medals went. Bronze first. Bronze, a lot of points for Fat Cat for bronze. Silver that cat's done quite well. Okay, let's change those medals into points. Ash doesn't get any points because they didn't answer in time. PP Burnell didn't get a lot of points. That could be a big factor. They were winning as well. Remember, they were winning by 400 points. And the real Ash was behind them. I think the real Ash has won this game. I think the real Ash has won this game. Let's see. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I was third as well. That cat won it. Oh, what a comeback. The fat cat has won the first game of DSP Bingo. No, 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 Fucking DSP quit bash bingo. Fuck off. I got bingo in the fucking mind. Oh, uh, yeah, that is going to bring. So that's the first round over. That's the very first round over. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, that's the top answer of the game. The top answer of the game was penis length measured by best piracies by PP Burnell. So at least uh, PP Burnell gets to win that consolation prize of having the best, um, the, the, the top answer. So, uh, yeah, oh hold on, hold on, uh, no hold on. Play again with new players. Can we, can we do that? Can we just play again with new players? I'm clicking on it and it's not letting me fucking do it, hold on. <laughs> let, let me fucking play with new players. Hold on, yes, go for it. Right, okay, hold on guys, hold on. 
Right. Okay, we're going to have a new game, okay? We're going to have a new game. So, here's how it's going to work. If you want to play this round, okay? If you want to play the next round of this quiz, go to jackbox.tv, type in your username, and type in the following code that's about to appear on the screen. The first person to appear in the game will be the VIP of the game, and they get to pick and load the quiz. And the instructions for that are at the very top of the screen. So if you're ready, go. Fucker. So there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to play this round. Oh, so many people tried to get it at the same time there, but... Uh, oi, oh, oh, I, she. God, that was very quick. Oh, I, she. You got to fucking win. Now, don't start, don't start yet. Don't start yet. Oh, I, she. Um, so load, you, you'll have instructions to load an episode on your browser. The code for it is at the very top of the screen there. M E Q W R S Q. And you should be able to load that episode. And then you can begin uh, begin the game. In fact, I might join the game as well, just as a fucking uh, audience member. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll join the audience. And there you go, the quiz is loaded and we're underway. We've got all oh, I was going to read everyone in the game, but I ran out of time. I'm your host, Schmitty. If you want a different host, play a different game. <laughs> we have OIC, Pedersen, Ulla Pops, Mokey, Kulant, Gru, Ray Ping, and Titch. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. So, if you're playing the game, of course, you'll have 90 seconds to answer two questions. Try the audience play along. Good luck to everyone, I would say. Try your best, you know, so all, all eight of you players, all eight of you fierce competitors, do your best to come up with as creative and funny as an, an answer as possible for, your, for the two questions you'll have prompted on the screen. And good luck to you guys. Oh, I she immediately answering their questions. Oh, speedrun. Bet it's in not far behind. Ray Ping is up next. We have 45 seconds, guys. Q-Lamp is answered. And we have Hitch as well. Three more to go. 35 seconds left, guys, to answer the questions. We have one more person. Pillapots and Gru have joined, but uh, we're just waiting for one more now. Come on, 15 seconds left, 14, 13. Come on, you can do it. 10 seconds, no pressure. Oh, fucking submit your answers now. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, Moki got it just in time. It was Moki we were waiting on. That bear have been worth the wait, Moki. So the first question is a, a question from Silent okay, Weapons. What would a DSP video game be called? Would it be called Goutman Legacy or Pig Snort? Pick your favourite answer from those two. That's a tough one. That's a tough one, but yeah, remember if you're an audience as well, you can get to decide your favourite answer and you can help, you can basically help decide who wins and loses these rounds, who gets more points. So if you're an audience, by all means, keep playing along. Oh, Goutman Legacy has won 5 to 1 with the players involved in the game. <laughs> Unlucky Ray Ping. Good, good start from Moki there. Next. This is an agent proper question. What did DSP whisper into Rambo's ear when alone in the hotel room together? Was it Don't Let Howard Know About Us or Grab My Stick Phil? I mean, the second answer is kind of funny, but at the same time it doesn't make sense because Phil is the one that's whispering into Rambo's ear. <laughs> you know, so I think they got confused of who was saying what. You know, so... 
Oh, the audience uh, helped get some points back for OIC, but Pattinson still wins. 97 overall. Next on the list. The next one up is a revamped special edition episode okay. of Project 7. Will be about being kidnapped by detractors or Jasper Kitty Litter 3. So what would, what would a special edition, a revamped special edition episode of Project 7 uh, be about being kidnapped by detractors or Jasper Kitty Literature. Pick your favourite answer and the uh, answers, the votes were as follows. Gru versus Hitch. 4 to 2 in favour of Gru and the audience are 93 in favour as well. So Gru wins that quite comfortably. 72% of the points goes towards Gru for that answer. Up next. Here's another Avigo submission. This fucking thing. So many people fucking kept submitting the same kind of fucking question. What was DSP jerking it to on May the 1st, 2016? Was it Sweaty JPEGs or his mom? Fuck me, jeez, it what? Ah, uh, I mean. God damn. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, what, what do you guys think he was jerking it to? It's a, it's a tie between the players in the game, but the audience has helped sway it for Ulla Pops and Sweaty JPEGs. Well done, Ulla Pops, for winning that round. Your next prompt is... Oh, this is one of Dash's questions. Who is Cat holding DSP hostage? Is she using a spoon, or is she wearing a Hulk Hogan mask during sex night? <laughs> sex night. You know, it's everyone's favourite time of week. It's the next night. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, buddy, oh man. Pick your favourite answer from those two. Moki versus Gru. Moki fucking got three points somehow for that from the players involved, but the audience has swayed it for Gru. Spoon. <laughs> I was like, no, not the spoon. I don't like the spoon. Next on deck. Oh, here's another Mista submission. Oh, hold on. It's repeated the same question as the first round. Well, the, the first game. DSP loses again in Street Fighter 6. What does he call his opponent as, he ra as his rage builds? A racial slur or scrubs? Now, in total, there's like 75 different questions, I think it is. So it's no surprise that we'll recycle some of the questions and you'll get to see them again. So yeah, this is in the first game and it's also in this game. Or two in favour of raping and racial slur, and the audience also goes in favour of raping's answer. So well done, raping. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I just realised what your fucking name was. Oh my God. Well, oh God, Ray. Ray. Why would you make me read out your name? Your full name. I'm going to pretend I'm your fucking friend. I can just call you Ray. Zenicat submission. The password DSP uses for his Wi-Fi is. Panda Lee was hotter or pan- oh for god's sake, how the hell? How does this happen? How does this happen? How? Someone explain to me how- are you using, are you using cahoots? I- I use like, you know, you know, ruining the game. I used to communicating. They both of you need to explain yourself. <laughs> they both of you need to explain yourself. Oh my god. And next the same fucking answer. It's DSP done. is chewing his nails again. What did he just see in his television screen? Whoa, there's a black woman. Ah. Or proof that he was jerking it to himself. Of course, that's a very interesting point because you've got to keep mind that Phil. Phil's monitor on, you know, he's looking to the fucking side. He's got a monitor showing his own face as he's doing the podcast. So yeah, he could be watching himself. Possible. The black woman wins. Oi She's answer is the overwhelming favourite and gets 72% of the points. Congratulations to Oi She. And that's the end of round one. Well, who's winning the first round? 
a close game, but grows ahead. Remember those second round double points. Now for round two. Double the points and bonuses, double the excitement. While the players enter their quips, audience members can try the audience play along on their devices. So remember guys, uh, the players that are playing the game also got two questions to answer and they have 75 seconds left to answer both questions. Well, the people in the audience, like me, can just, you know, answer the questions that are given to us as audience. So my audience prompt is a realistic, honest fast food slogan. They fucked up a burger, king chicken sandwich. Come on, cat, we got your favourite. Zero percent beef. So thick, you need a spoon. There's forty seconds left for the players to get their answers done for both questions. Oh God, sake, who typed in cum filled sandwiches? What's what the what's nasty person fucking typed that? Very meaningful meals. Final thirty seconds for the two players left to answer. We cut corners, dude. Realistic, honest fast food slogan. We heart attack with multiple orders. 17 seconds, 15 seconds left. I'm trying to remember who it is we're waiting for. 5 seconds left, answer you beggar. There you go, Ula Pops, we're waiting for Ula Pops. Let's take a look. First one. So this is, this is a question submitted by Tonya Wiggins. DSP runs to become a senator, what is his campaign slogan? I did nothing wrong, guys, or I did everything right and nothing wrong. Practically the same answer. Oh, Phil is so predictable, I guess, that people come up with the same answers. God damn. Jeff D's joined the chat saying, What is this nonsense? Well, we're just playing some quick blash. There's no DSP today, it's his day off, so we're just having some fun with some quick blash. Just some quick blash. So Oishi wins overwhelmingly with the players and most of the audience as well. 16 to 4 in favour. 80% of the points goes to Oishi. Next up. So uh next question we have here is the true reason why DSP was desperate to leave Connecticut. Was it because Dave was looming with fish picks? Or was it because of Chris Hansen investigation? <laughs> that came out of left field. Ah, oh, goodness me. So pick your favourite answer from uh, those two options. Ah, oh, goodness me. One that was going to win this one. Peasant Sin versus Ray. Ray, overwhelming favourite there. The audience was put 77, but the, the players all backed um, Ray's answer for the Chris Hansen investigation. Coming up next. What did DSP fear most about Mike Clom exposing how the documentary went ahead? Uh, was it the ants that have overtaken the garage? The garage? Or was it financials? Chef D is wondering the fuck is, is Quiplash? Pretty much it's a game where, you know, I'm hosting the game. Like, you know, I, I, So I've got a game running on my channel, okay? I, I, I have the game. But it's a game where other people can basically join and play and answer questions and it's a custom quiz question basically players are competing with each other to come up with the best answers possible for the questions they are given and the other players vote their favourite answers and so does the audience that can join as well and be in the audience it's just, it's just, it's just you know we're just having some fun there's no bingo tonight Phil's got a day off we're just having some fun if it's not your thing then it's it's not your thing it's okay you don't you don't, you don't have to like it, you know what I mean? So if you, if you like it, cool. If you don't, then fair play. So this question is, DSP is given the ability to nuke a single detractor from existence. Who does he pick and why? Does he pick Tevin because it's all his fault, dude? Or does he nuke me? What did I do? I'm wholesome. Chef D is asking, how do I get in this? Well, you, you can't join this current game. This current game has a full eight players. Hey, okay, yeah, Hitch doesn't get anyone on his side because, you know, I'm too wholesome. I'm lucky, Hitch. So, we're going to play one more game at least after this after this game is finished, and you'll see a prompt on the screen. You go to Jackbox.tv, and you wait for the code prompt to appear on the screen, and you can join that way. 
I'll, I'll, I'll explain it before the next game so everyone has a chance. Okay, Chef, how's that? How's that? I'll do my best to try and encourage, you know, help. What I will do as well is encourage people to, if you've played the first two games, or if you've played one of the two games, um, don't don't play a third game. It's a, it's a wee bit fair to kind of hog the space if you get what I'm saying. Like, I played the first round. Oh, the first fucking question. After a second bankruptcy, DSP is forced to sell the Snortfort and instead live in Derek's damp basement or intercourse PA. <laughs> Derek's damp basement wins. Oh, goodness me. Right. Bef before before the third game, I will try and explain uh, a bit a more a more bit quick bosh. Uh, the Snood Submission. Uh, who are the sons of SmackDown? <laughs> Are they OIC server counts or are they DSP John Rambo and Howard? I'll pick your favourite answer from those two there. So yeah, it's only been like, I'd say it's like about five minutes or so before this this game, this particular game ends for this current round of players. So, because we're, we're, we're nearly finished the second round and there's a final third round and after that it's over. And then I'll explain how you can join the game for, the, for, the, for a new game. 10 to 8 in favour of Oi Shi. Congratulations, congratulations Oi Shi for winning that particular round. And that is... Oh, it's a Chulump submission. What? So Chulump, who's actually involved in the game as well, in this current game, asks, what is your DSP diss track title? Is it It's All About the Tips or DoorDash Dance Dude? I would laugh actually if Chulump was one of the people that answered this question. Like, it was his question, and he may have got it to answer when he submitted the question in the first place. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Damn, it wasn't him. It was Gru and Ula Pops. And Gru with the overwhelming favourite answer for the players, but the audience went for Ula Pops' answer. Which helps get him some points back, at least. But Gru still wins that round. Next in the hopper... Oh god me. Oh, you just answered the same question. You just don't get any points because you fucking had the exact same answer. I've never seen that. I've never seen that thing happen before. I've never seen that. I was wondering what the fuck was going on. Right. This is it's a final round. This is round three, the last flash. <laughs> One final chance to catch up, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Oh goodness me! Yeah, uh, chef, I did hear about that. O.J. Simpson uh, died. So yeah, in case people didn't know. And uh, speaking of uh, people in in you know, in, you know, so complete the comic. What did you order for your last meal? So, how would you answer that to try and get as many points as possible from your fellow players as well as the audience? As I said, when it comes to the very final round, I, it's the game that decides the kind of prompt. I can't make... I can make DSP questions for the first two rounds, but the final round is always the game deciding whatever. <laughs> and you gotta try and pick your... You gotta try and get as creative as possible to try and get a good answer going. What did you order for your last meal? Fucking nut brownies. Nut brownie cake. 10 seconds left guys to get our answers going. Remember, any answer would be good. There's big points up for grabs. Let's see those quips. Good luck everyone. Decide who gets a medal. What did you order for your last meal? Was it a burger caused no sushi available? A robust Italian style brosciutto? Authentic Italian style sauce meatballs? Cum? Door dash my ass spoons? <laughs> you can eat my ass? It didn't happen, it was a slow stream. The saltiest thing in the menu. Or Trader Joe's tacos door dash. God oh, damn it. Rem remember if you're a player you pick three different questions, three different answers, sorry. You pick your gold answer, your silver answer, and your bronze answer. And uh, the player with the most points on board will get, well, you know, say, the best answers get the most points. Quite as simple as that. <laughs> pick your favourite answers from the ones provided. So many good answers though, it's a tough one. So many good answers. Let's see, let's see who's going to win this round. 
bronze. Oh, Penitent Sun has done quite well. Had a lot of points for Penitent Sun. Oh, I she didn't do well that round. Oh, who's going to win? This is a tough one. Well, Penitent Sun gets a 4,000 points for their answer. Will it lead them to glory? Okay, let's see those final scores. This will be a hell of a comeback if they pull it off. They have! Penitent Sin. Proving it doesn't matter what happens in the first two rounds, as long as you have a good funny answer for the final round, you get to win every and beat everyone. So there you go. Congratulations to Penitent Sin. You win a win right at the very end. That was even me. That was uh, uh, that must have been a. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. So hold up. So hold on, guys. Let me explain the situation before we can continue for some for people who are new. Okay. So if you want to try and play the game, so I can't guarantee you're going to get in, okay? Because this is essentially first come, first served, and the code is not available yet. I've not unhidden the fucking code yet. You go to jackbox.tv to play the game, you can do it on your desktop browser, you can do it on your mobile phone, you can do it whatever, you know what I mean? If you can get access to jackbox.tv, you go there, you put in your username and you put in the room code, okay? And it's essentially first come first serve. If you are the first person to join the game, you are the VIP of that game. And if you want to load the DSP quiz, the instructions for it are at the very top of the stream. You can basically, it tells you exactly how to do it at the very top of the screen. I'm going to unhide the code now. Good luck getting in, and I would recommend, guys, if you if you played that first and second game, just hang back and let other people try and join the game and let them, you know, for people that haven't joined yet and want to play, give other people a chance for us to try and play. What is the code? This is the code. Fucking good luck, everyone. At time, go. Good luck, everyone. Purple Ake has got in, Chef D303 has got in, Fire Raccoon has got in, Obese Cat has got in, Guy with Long Hair has got in, Low Tier God, Lelouch and Jasper Kitty. Now, Purple Ake, since you are the first person to join the game and you are the VIP of the room, you can actually get to set the episode that we play and the instructions for that are at the very top of the screen. So, on your browser, you should be able to see something called the episodes menu. From there, you type in the code MEQWRSQ and you get to load the quiz. Then you can start the game. So you uh, You didn't load the quiz, Purple Aki. We're just gonna, we're, so, this is basically just a normal game of Quick Blash. With default questions. Alright. Purple Aki, you're dafty. Welcome, I'm your host, Schmitty. My voice is included with your purchase of this game at no extra charge. There's no DSP questions in this particular round of you can. If you want to have DSP answers, then go for it. I would encourage trying your best to come up with some clever DSP answers. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go. FD's asking, how did you get in? Don't, don't, don't look at me. You don't want to fucking go yourself in. <laughs> Folks in the audience can try the audience play along while we wait for our players to finish. So, Chef D, you play the game on your browser or your, your phone or whatever. However you joined the game in the first place, you play through there. The questions that you need to answer will be on your browser or your phone or wh however. So, <laughs> there you go. So, the, the audience question right now, we'll, we'll wait for our players to answer their questions, is another use for tampons. So our answers involve vodka boofing up the ass. Jesus Christ, man. Soak in booze and rectum. Block the eyes from all the women on the screen. All oh, these questions and answers are terrible. Tasty snack, oh for fuck's sake. Purple Aki, Fire Raccoon, Obese Cat, Guy of Long Hair, Lelouch, Low to Your God and Jasper Kitty have all answered the questions. We are waiting on one person to answer their question. Guy of Long Hair says they are DSP questions. I didn't see it appear on my screen. Okay, fair enough. If they are DSP questions, then cool. They are? Okay, cool. Well done. So Purple Aki didn't do it, but okay, done it right. Well done. Pick your favorite. PG Game Box submission. Cat refuses to come back to the stream and DSP quickly blames Connor Demons or Almighty Tevin. 
Who does DSP blame? Does he blame the corner demons or does he blame Almighty Tevin? Pick your favorite answer from that. Goddamn fucking corner demons. Purple Aki loses out to low tier god overwhelmingly. 12 to 2. Strong start for low tier god. Get an ass banned, Purple Aki. Argentinian contributions are now banned by DSP. Which country will be next to get banned and why? Is it Israel, AHS Jews, or China, dude? I somewhat regret submitting this question. This is one of my questions, and this is just the, the, the answers are spicy. These are some very spicy kind of answers. Oh, goodness me. So, what's your favourite answer from those two? Chef D versus Louch. 4 to 2 in favour of Chef D, and the audience are also on the side. Congratulations, Chef D, for your uh, for your victory there in that round. Well, a good start for Chef D. Oh. DSP is forced into the big scary world of employment. What job is he able to secure? Is it a janitor or is it a DoorDash delivery boy? Pick your favourite answer now. Oh, DoorDash Delivery Boy wins it for both the players and the audience. Good start for Fiery Kun. I have a feeling that Fiery Kun is Fiery Paper Mario. So here we go. Next question is one of mine again. DSP is stranded on a desert island. What three items does he bring with him to survive? Does he bring Jasper, mobile phone and neck phones, or his mobile phones, WWE Champions, and DD? DoorDash. I imagine DD means DoorDash. So pick your favourite answer from those two prompts. So he's stranded on a desert island. What three items are the funnier three items, in your opinion? Obese Cat with the overwhelming victory over the players and the audience. That is a 10 to 3 uh, success for Obese Cat. Congratulations to them for winning that particular round. Next prompt. So what goes through the mind of Jasper when DSP is talking to him on stream? Is it eating his gouty face or is it feed me you fat pig? What is going through poor Jasper Kitty's mind when DSP is talking to him on stream? Oh, what's your favourite answer from those two? Purple Aki versus Jasper Kitty. Of course, Jasper Kitty's going to win that round because it's about him. Well done, Jasper Kitty. That's a good catch. You win. Bonus points for the quick blash. Your next prompt is ready, set, vote. Oh my God! Pixar Animation's question has provided some brutal answers. Where does Cat buy her clothes? Is it from the horse stable or from overweight clothes for or less? What is your favourite answer from those two? Pick your favourite answer. <laughs> Jesus man, those are two brutal answers. Low tier god versus fire Kun. It's a split between the players but the audience are voting in favour of low tier god. You share it, so you get some points each, but you get more points to your god because the audience were on your side. Congratulations. Next up. This is an Vega submission. Oh, for God's sake. So we've seen this question before in a previous game. Dave, Bill's dad, is annoyed as his useless son is calling him. What does Dave send DSP a picture of this time? Does he send him a picture of his big penis or a rainbow trout? Oh, for God's sake. Some of these answers make me cringe. They just make me cringe so much. And yet I have to read them out. I'm the host. 
It's a tie between the players and the audience. The answers were equally terrible. Congratulations, guys. Next one. Oh, a Brian A submission. WWE champions get shut down without any warning. How does DSP cope with this? Purgury or extreme street fighter six sodium? How would DSP cope? If WWE champions went bye bye. Yeah, I'm confused about purgatory as well. I mean, it sounded kind of close to purgatory. You're right. Purgatory. I don't know. <laughs> the louch confused me a little bit with that one, and I guess it confused everyone else as well, because most people went with Obese Cat's answer. Purgatory kind of went over everyone's heads. And that's the end of round one. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. So let's see who has got the early lead after round one. Congratulations to our beast cat. They are 300 points ahead of low tier god. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Well, you heard them. Round two, double value points. All the players in the game, good luck. Come up with your best answers. You have 90 seconds. I will be warning you if you run out of time. So no pressure, no danger or anything, but just make sure you hurry the fuck up. Because the time can fly rapidly, especially if you get a fucking brain fart and can't think what you want to type as your clever answer. The current question for the audience is what kittens would say if they could talk? Don't fucking declaw me. Tuna fish please, now. Where are my claws? The audiences are savage as hell. Quit using my litter box. I'm just reading all the audience answers to this question. What kittens would say if they could talk? I'm the only pussy you stroke, for God's sake. When is this fat fuck? When is this fat fuck going to die? Not sure if that's about Phil or me. I mean, I too am a fat fuck. Oh, goodness me. 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds left to answer your questions. There's three of you left, left to answer. Thank you to the person that says it's Phil. The fat fuck was Phil. Thank you for reassuring me. 15 seconds left, guys. Come on. Time for it, guys. No pressure, but answer your questions for the next 10 seconds or. or. or I'm gonna shoot. Uh, 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 there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Well, there you go. My threat is not required because everyone answered in time. We have a question submitted by Tonya Wiggins. What is the worst thing that Jasper has witnessed at Snortfort? Is it, oh for God's sake, they're both the same. Is it Phil's pre-stream masturbation? Spelled wrong by the way, but we all know what it means, it's okay. Or is it Master's Cum Sessions? Oh, those answers are so nasty. Those are some horrible answers. Why would you make me say these things? Well, Purple Aki wins that particular round. They didn't have a strongest first round, but are coming back with a vengeance. Well done, Purple Aki, for getting some good points on the board, finally. Oh, this is one of my questions here. It is Christmas time, and DSP forgot to buy his parents a present. What last second gift does he send them? Is that a sample of his thick... Oh my god's sake, stop making me read these things! Is that a sample of his thick, creamy, salty cum, or is it a spoon? Why would you make me read these things? This is, this is the last fucking round. You guys are fucking horrible. <laughs> this, is, this, this is the last round. <laughs> I'm going to redirect to that being said after this. Five to one in favour of a spoon. Well done, low tier god. Chef D, you're so cruel for making me read that. You're so mean. Oh, for goodness sake. DSP reluctantly accepts he needs to do a bigger thon. How much money is he setting as the goal? Two thousand dollars or six million dollars? That's an interesting number. But in the middle of the game, I can't even play it. I might play it at the end. Before do that being said, but not now. We're in the middle of the game. 
Jasper Kitty, uh, obese cat, has won five to one with the players, and the audience are all in favour of obese cat as well. That's a very strong round for obese cat. Up next. Oh, a dash of submission here. Who will DSP cosplay as next for Halloween? Will I cosplay as Catherine from Catherine, or will I cosplay as Gourmet Guy from Paper Mario on N64? I wonder whose answer belongs to the which particular player in the chat should have came up with that second answer. <laughs> Jesus, man. Let's see who the players and audience go for. Or two in favour of Fire Coon's answer of Paper Mario Guy, but the audience went with Catherine from Catherine. He's a bit, he's, you still get points each. I mean, it's a very close result, but you still get a good bunch of points each. DSP has attempted multiple rebrands from older channels. What should his next rebrand attempt be? Should he bring back his top haters, or should he do OnlyFans, Derek Collab, Micropenis? Pick your favourite answer from those two particular suggestions. That second answer is so nasty it's going to win. I hate the second answer, but it's going to fucking win. One million percent is going to win. Chef D's going to win. I'm going to tell it. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. That was clear as fucking day. There was nothing purple Aki could do about that. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Moving on. That was a guaranteed one. Okay. So there we go. YouTube decides to allow DSP to implement one change to how the website is run. What does DSP get implemented? He is only he is the only one allowed to upload game videos or mandatory tips. Essentially, pay per view. The second answer is pay per view. Essentially, that feels like I'm so yeah. So would Phil want to be the only game game video content creator on YouTube, or would he want his content to be pay, pay per view? The Louch wins that round eight to four, and they get a the majority of the points. Congratulations to them. <laughs> you see DSP out in the wild. Cat is not there. It is just him waddling awkwardly down the street. What do you say or do? Do you say six million is an interesting number, or do you say how's the gout, Phil? Oh for God's sake! Stop trying to get out of guys. When the when the game's over, I'll play the clip. Four to in favour of how's the gout fell. Well done, guy from here. Your next prompt is Oh, we have a profit submission. DSP claims he used a Pringles can to measure his girth. What did he actually use? Did he use peanuts or cat's arse? Why? Oh, thank God this is the last round. This is <laughs> reading these answers. I just <laughs> I feel like I need a shower after playing this game. Fire Coon versus Obese Cat. Fire the Coon's answer is the most popular one, and the audience also goes in their favour. 94 in favour of peanuts. So well done to Fire Coon for winning that particular round. I think that's the end of round two. Yes it is. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. Well, who has won? Who's been, this is not the end, anyway. Who is winning so far before the final round? Obese Cat is 400 points out of Ultia God. Fire Kun is third with 3700 points. But it's all I play for here. Big points are on the line. And now round three, the last dash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Make up a phrase that goes with this acronym. Oh, it's different from the last time. You've got to come up with a full name for this acronym. M-E-M. -E so, you know, in case people don't know what a fucking acronym is. Something begin with M-E-M. -E like, I mean, mom, everyone's mean. You know, like that. That's, so there we go. So, try and come up with your fucking best acronym. 
using those letters M E M. So uh, Jasper kind of didn't waste time and they got that answer in there. There's, there's not a lot of time by the way guys, there's 20 seconds to go. But remember guys, when you have finished submitting your answers, you get to pick your three favourites as well. The players. The audience get to pick their one favourite, but the players get to pick their three favourites. Ten or ten seconds, get your answer done now. Any answer is better than no answer. Come on. There you go. Those medals now. So, M-E-M, -E our answers are my enormous meals, money every day, man, mandatory emergency money. Cat eats Phil's smegma when sucking micro penis. Okay, that just missed the point. <laughs> Microtransactions, eminent, mandatory. Monstrous e begging marathon, mandatory expensive memberships, or money engagement memberships. Pick your favourite answers from those now. And there's 20 seconds left to pick your favourite answers. If you're a player in the game, pick your favourite three answers. If you're in the audience, you pick your one favourite answer. I must say I'm quite impressed with uh, E begging for E is quite clever in my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought of using E begging for the E. So whoever done that, big ups to them. Also, money engagement memberships is quite, you know, pretty, pretty snake. Okay, let's see who got those medals. Bronze. So, uh... Silver. And gold. Guy with long hair looks like they've done the best out of that particular round. Purple Akiwe, 500 points. Hold to your god, 1500 points. Chef D, 1500 points. 2000 for Lelouch. Obese Cat gets 2500 points. 3000 for Jasper Kitty. 3500 for Fire Kun. Guy with long hair, 4000 points. Fire Kun, you might win. I'm just saying, I think, I, I think Fire Kun might have won. I may be wrong, I may be wrong, but let's see. Oh, guy has long hair one, but a few the points. Sneaky. Very, very sticky. <laughs> well, well done, guy has long hair for winning that particular round. It was a very close run thing. It was a very close run thing. But uh, guys, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it, I'm going to bring an end to the game there. You know, a couple of games are quite blast. I feel like I can get it done. <laughs> and it was a good time was had by all, I do hope. So yeah. And of course, before we go, let me, let me just let me just fucking get it hold on. Let's, let's, uh, I don't I don't even have a fucking thing set up. Give me a second here. Give me a second here to fucking get things set up for you guys. So because uh, I know I know I promised. I promised. I know I fucking promised. So uh Yeah, At that point, I couldn't do money investment anyway. I was broke. But basically, I was like, we can't do this anymore. Wait, and I made a commitment to her that I was not going to play mobile games a ton anymore. I said, every once in a while, maybe you'll see me pick up the phone and play it. Made right a now. commitment then. This is a two and a half minute fucking trailer. It's basically a song. Oh, I forgot to say. I thought it was going to be a fucking 30 second trailer. It's just fucking, you know, all uploading the fucking two and a half minute tune. Fine. We'll listen to his wee song to promote that being said, and then I'll play the short. And then the stream will redirect you guys to the stream, even though it's not starting yet. Wouldn't play those games. Wouldn't let those urges win. But there is a demon in me. It's so strong right now Hanging and banging Brother Don't take my phone It's so important to me Cause Catherine, you're second All the gems of a thousand strip mines All six stars shining from Hogan's eye Will never be enough Never be enough Cards of gold still too little Could give so much to her But I can never pull enough
just a real simple yes or no. Mm-hmm. Do you currently still play WWE champions? Yes. And that was a trailer for the upcoming That Being Said show. Bloody hell. The thing starts in 10 minutes. And of course, that being said, we're also responsible for the making of a the making of an interesting number. For for lack of a better way to word that. Jesus! Alright, so ladies and gentlemen. Six million. Six million. That's a pretty interesting number, isn't it? Six million. Well, guess what? You're wrong. It didn't happen. You're making it up. Right? You make that shit up. No, how about this? Band, 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 band. Gone. Forever. Because I don't put up with your fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> now that was good. Now that was a fucking good one. <laughs> the boss being right. So there you go, your six million happened, alright? Your six million interesting number. You got me to play it even though there's no fucking bingo happening. So there you go, you well done guys. You, you, you managed to beat it out of me. Fantastic stuff, well done. Right guys, I'm going to wrap things up there. I'm going to end how I always end, you know, the usual kind of way. I'm going to end with, you know, the Twitter's PIG by, you know, Pixar Animations and jazz. I'll end the usual way. I will be back for some random bingo. I say random bingo. Bingo usually happens anyway. So I'm sorry for the lack of notice, by the way, for this stream. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it and I was in two minds, but I kind of thought it's been a long, it's, it's been like 2022. It's been almost two years since I last done Quit Blush. And I already had the quiz made, not sure, I just didn't get around to fucking doing our stream of it, but yeah. It's a fun wee thing to do now and again, for sure, you know what I mean? A little change of pace. Please Monkey says, please please do this again next week. I don't know if I can. I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing for sure. Next Friday, not tomorrow, but the following Friday, I won't be here. I've got plans, so I'm not sure what I'm doing next Thursday yet. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, but remember guys, if you won the game, anyone can play that quiz like the, the, the code was in the you know the, the codes in the stream as well anyone can load these it's, it's a custom quiz so i made a quiz custom quiz if you happen to own quit blash that version of the game like i think it's like quit blash 2 or whatever anyone can load that quiz up themselves and play with their own friends or whatever yeah so yeah that's, that's, that's available to all if they have the game themselves but uh <laughs> there you fucking go um, I'm, but I, I do hope you all guys had fun anyway. I hope you had a good wee time. As I said, it's something I've been meaning to do for a while. I didn't make it a while ago. I asked, you know, different content creators and detractors and members and everything else for some of the questions. So, so many questions were submitted by, you, you know, you guys. So, uh, yeah, you had, uh, uh, some, some of those questions were fucking horrifying. So, some of the fucking answers. <laughs> uh, scary shit indeed. But yeah, guys, I will be back tomorrow for some more robust bingo antics. And remember, this stream, when I'm finishing the stream, when it, when it ends, well, live redirect you right back to fucking here to that being said stream, which is starting in, you know, eight minutes time, roughly. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow for some more bingo antics if you wish to join me. But until then, enjoy this year's Thursday, however you wish to spend it, and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye. On September 14th, a pre-authorized payment of $16.51 from PayPal. Alright, Luna Mills has tipped me a dollar thirty. It says, I'm back. What's your favorite type of shower? Uh when you're showered in money. When you when you go outside and all of a sudden greenbacks start falling from the sky and you raise your face up, you're like, oh, you start dancing, you go, oh, oh, money, money, yeah, yeah. Alright, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but thank you for the first tip of the day.
Just gone like that.